Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I wanted to talk about uh, setting memory channels in your radio and uh, more specifically how to store the uh, 60 meter or 5 megahertz band channels uh, for North America into your radio uh, so that you can uh, access them uh, quicker than by manual tuning. So what we're going to do first is uh, set our operating mode. There we go. We're in upper sideband now. And uh, so what we'll do is enter the frequency that we want to use by pressing the first digit of our frequency. We'll press F imp, and then we'll enter our frequency. So our transceiver displayed frequency is going to be 5.33050. And we'll hit int. All right, so now we're on the upper sideband. 5.33050. So, what we'll do is uh, make sure we're in VFO mode. Touch the uh, memory channel uh, display here. Uh, if you need to be uh, on a different uh, memory channel, you can just uh, cycle to the number that you want to be on. In this case, we want to save to uh, channel 1, so we'll press and hold MW and now it's saved. We can verify that by switching to memory mode. Memory 2 is blank. Memory 1 contains the channel we just saved. So we'll switch back to VFO. Now we'll uh, enter our additional channel information for channel 2. So we're going to do frequency input. And then we're going to set the transceiver displayed frequency to 5.3 four six five zero int and then touch the channel display number increment to number two press and hold mw and now we're saved and i believe we may actually be able to uh, stay on this vfo memory screen and enter the uh, information that we need for the next channel so let's try that the next one is going to be five point three five seven zero zero int yes so we'll move to number three press and hold mw enter the next channel f input five point three seven one five zero int Move to channel 4, press and hold MW, and continue with the last channel. F input 5.40350, int. Now see, we just saved over channel 4. So, if you do that, you can just simply re-enter the correct information. 5.3 seven one five oh int press and hold mw enter the correct information for the next channel five point four zero three five oh int go to the next channel press and hold mw uh, when I make mistakes on the channel uh, I like to just leave it in there. It's a learning experience for me, so it might as well be uh, a learning experience for everyone else as well. Uh, that's pretty much going to cover it. If we go back to memory mode, we can now see that we have the 60 meter channels stored in the first five memory locations for quick access. Uh, one thing to be aware of on the 60 meter channels, if you are in uh, your waterfall, it's going to have to be in center mode because you do not have the ability uh, with the fixed band edges to uh, display under uh, center mode. Sorry, fixed mode because it will say scope out of range. So if we simply press center fix to get into center mode, we can now see that we can see uh, 2.5 kilohertz on either side. And of course, uh, we can change that, sorry, by pressing our span button the cycle to whatever we want to be on, um, display width wise. So that's pretty much that. 
If anybody has any questions or comments, let me know down below. And uh, we'll have another video out soon. So uh, if you have any suggestions, you can put that down below as well. I appreciate any feedback. Uh, I hope that you found this video informative. And I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.